This is a tutorial on how to draw a 3D cube in Flash CS5 that also works in CS4. Um, here's my cube. It works pretty well and I can rotate it with the 3D rotation tool. And I guess the only downside to 3D shapes like this in Flash is that notice right now I have the alpha at 50%. If you set it to 100, then uh, it really messes up their perspective because one of the one of the faces of the cube is always being drawn first and not not in the proper order that it should be drawn to to make the cube perspective work. But, but that's not such a big deal because you can still have it be transparent. So I'm going to show you how to make that same cube exactly from scratch. So here's a new file. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to turn the grid on. Go to view grid, edit grid. Turn the grid on because that'll make it a whole bunch easier to make this cube. So I'm saying so I checked show grid and snap to grid and I'm gonna make it fifty by fifty pixels. And I'm also gonna say always snap just to make sure my my squares are will be in the right place when I snap them. So go to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Um, it's gonna be fit it's gonna be at X one hundred, Y one hundred, width one hundred and height one hundred. So pretty simple. This will eventually be the base of our of our cube. But first, I need to convert it to a movie symbol because since only movie symbols can be rotated uh, in 3D in Flash, so I'm going to just name it Square. Um, movie clip registration to the middle. Okay. So, and I'm also going to okay in the properties of the movie clip under vanishing point, change this to 150. One, one fifty. Um, you can change that later to make a different make the cube look like it's from a different perspective, but this just makes it easier to draw because one fifty one fifty is the center of this of this cube right now. You want the cube in this position, by the way, not nowhere else, because otherwise this doesn't work. Anyway, um, I was also make the color make it about fifty percent alpha just so it's easier to work with so we can see through it because we're going to need to eventually and okay so copy five more cubes or squares sorry squares just like it and arrange four of them around it in a plus sign and this one will be our last our last face which we'll put on finally in the last So, so for each of these four um, outer squares, we're gonna change the. Okay, if, sorry. First, if you don't already have it out, go to Window and Transform um, to open this Transform panel, which is which is we're gonna use a lot for making the cube. So for the left one, for the left um, outer square, under the three D center point, under the Transform panel. Um, set the X to 100, and the Y should already be 150. And that'll make it so that when we rotate it, it'll rotate along this edge here, which then we can rotate it to, or eventually got to rotate it to 90 degrees to make it be um, one side of the cube. But I'm going to undo that. So that's 100, 150. The right one will be 200, 150. The top one will be, um, whoops, no, 150, 100, x, y. The bottom one will be x, 150, y, 200. Not, not 50, 200. Okay, so, now we're just going to rotate them into their proper places. So, the left one, the y, under 3D rotation, under transform still, the Y one, the Y will be 90 for the left one. For the right one, it's going to be negative 90. For the top one, now in the X, X under 3D rotation, it's going to be negative 90 for the top one. And 90 for the bottom one. Under X still. And so now, so now we're almost done. Um, so select select the five squares we've just been working with and see 
there's still a 3D center point, we want to change this so it's X is 150, Y is 150, and Z is 50. Okay, so that way when we rotate the square or the cube, it will it will rotate in the in the as a center of the, the rotation point will be in the center, and that's what that's what I want. And so I'm gonna undo that. So if we select that again and say if there's the three rotation is now x is negative ninety and y is zero, it might be different for you. I've done this a few times and it, it doesn't always it's not always consistent, but set whatever thing is ninety to zero or negative ninety. And so and then drag this drag your final piece, your sixth face, up to the to the to be parallel well, to be right next to this blank to this lighter side of your cube of your rotator cube now. And set the uh, set the three D rotation center point of this top or of this new of this final piece to um right here well to this so it rotates about this edge and so that's 150 100 so x is 150 y is 100 z is 0 that's fine and so <coughs> so now I want to set the x rotation to negative 90 I believe just like just like we did with the first top panel, well, not first, but but yeah, and then that, then we're almost done, nearly. Um, so select, I select it all, and now I'm saying the 3D center point. I'm gonna change that to 150. It messed, it got messed up because of that new panel, but I'm gonna set it to 150, 150, 50 again, and selecting all, rotate the cube, and it's it's a cube, and it's done.